that we are imagining that by some mechanism we already have, in this case since we're interested in genetic materials like RNA that is in all cells, all organisms, how it's built, how it's built out of building blocks called nucleotides. So for the first set of experiments, we're imagining that these are already delivered by meteorites or perhaps built through a, a planetary atmosphere process and then asking the next question, what is that? How did you build the genetic materials that are going to lead to that, if we're lucky, will demonstrate uh, reproducibility and evolution onwards to life? My boss, uh, Bill Nye, the science guy, he says the two big questions that we want to answer in uh, science are, where do we come from, and are we alone? And it would appear that you hope to a answer both. Do you see it that way, Michael? The uh, Miller-Urey experiment was indeed a very fundamental and exciting experiment. So what they found is that you can produce the building blocks of proteins and peptides and um, RNA and DNA on Earth through um, very basic chemistry. But um, the Miller-Urey experiment kind of failed to polymerize these building blocks into proteins, peptides, RNA, DNA. And that's what we want to do in our experiment. So if we are successful in this one, this would be indeed, would indeed show how the first very basic cells could potentially have formed on the Earth and also on other planets. I'll just follow Michael's remark on that. The second part of Christian, are we alone? Uh, in other words, did this occur beyond the Earth on other habitable terrestrial planets? We already have, through astronomy observations, we note the existence of perhaps a couple of dozen of these rocky potential worlds, but around other kinds of stars. And so our simulator was very carefully designed that we can simulate, say, the radiation fields and in other atmospheres that would be present on other habitable planets. In other words, other planets that have liquid water on them. So that's the way we're going to attack the question, are, are we alone? Can it occur in other off-Earth environments? Why is RNA, ribonucleic acid, the, the kissing cousin of DNA, why is it so central? The way we work today is our bodies work based on proteins and DNA. But these are very complicated molecules, and once you have DNA, then you can use proteins and enzymes and such to cut and to replicate and duplicate RNA. The question that we ask is how did the entire thing start? So we want to do, we take a, a bottom-top approach, and it is conceptually much easier to think of starting this process with RNA and then building up to DNA and proteins and such later. There are different models where and how life has formed on the Earth.